So we're more than a year into the pandemic, and by now, I assumed that we've all collectively moved on from the mask debate. I mean, it was never debatable. Masks during a pandemic are absolutely essential. And by now, you should just be accustomed to masks. You should know that they're necessary if we want to at least resume some normal activities, right? Go to the grocery store and have at least some level of protection. And I thought by now, most of the uh, COVID idiots have moved on and they're now spreading misinformation about the vaccines. And I thought we were in the phase of the pandemic where we're desperately trying to convince dumb fuck anti-vaxxers to do what's in their best interest and take the COVID-19 vaccine so we can all move on and reach herd immunity. But I had a little bit too much faith in American society, and apparently some folks are still dwelling on masks. Conservative snowflakes are still melting down over masks in 2021. I mean, this feels like a 2020 thing, but nonetheless, here we are. All of a sudden, a lot of folks don't like masks, and they're tyrannical again. I wonder why that's the case. We'll find out, but first, I want to give you an example of the hysteria that we're seeing in 2021 that we should have moved beyond at this point. But a conservative went into a Costco and he tried to lead a rebellion against masks. And unfortunately for him, it didn't go as he quite expected it would. Is anybody tired of this tyranny? You love tyranny. You love tyranny. You get out. You get out. You get out. No more masks. No more masks. No more mask. No more mask. No more mask. We're out of here. Let's leave. No more mask. 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 No more. You know what the funny thing is? In six months or a year from now, you're going to be looking for people like me to stand for you. That's right. Where's the men at? Where's the freaking men at that will stand for your liberty? Where's the men that will stand for liberty once again? Thank you for not putting a mask. On. Liberty comes with a mask. Liberty comes with a mask, please. In 2013, we learned that the United States government without warrants is literally spying on its own citizens, infiltrating World of Warcraft, collecting our metadata. We have uh, Republican controlled legislatures across the country trying to criminalize protests in america but this idiot thinks that masks are actually what's really tyrannical and that's what he feels as if he needs to speak out against and he says is anybody tired of the tyranny and everyone just so tired of this bullshit in costco says no because masks aren't tyrannical you absolute fucking snowflake and he says liberty comes with a mask Actually, yes, during a pandemic, masks do give us liberty. They allow us to go out into public with some level of protection. That's, that's good. It's not a bad thing to put a piece of cloth over your face. And again, it's just, it's really frustrating that we're having this conversation again. But this man was not the only individual who melted down over masks because a Florida woman disrupted a school board meeting because she didn't like the idea that children are being asked to wear masks while at school. We don't need to. The science said that we don't need to. We do not need masks for our kids. It's child abuse. Do not. Take the masks off our kids. What she's saying sounds eerily similar to something that I recently heard on television. In particular, a new show, I believe. Science shows there is no reason for you to be wearing it. Your mask is making me uncomfortable. Your response when you see children wearing masks as they play should be no different from your response to seeing someone beat a kid in Walmart. Call the police immediately. Contact Child Protective Services. Keep calling until someone arrives. What you're looking at is abuse. It's child abuse, and you are morally obligated to attempt to prevent it. If it's your own children being abused, then act accordingly. Oh, that's right. She's doing exactly what Tucker Carlson said she should do. Respond to children wearing masks as if it's child abuse. So this is why we're seeing this debate over masks reignited in one fell swoop with one segment 
Tucker Carlson did just that. As Dave's New World points out on Twitter, this is Tucker Carlson's fault. And that is exactly right, because when you can see folks parrot his talking points almost verbatim, we have to blame Tucker Carlson. This is why I speak out against Tucker Carlson. Because what he peddles is dangerous misinformation that makes us less capable of actually dealing with the pandemic. And when I say us, I mean us collectively, as a society. And Penny adds, add the anti-maskers to the ball with the anti-vaxxers, and we have the two biggest reasons why we can't have nice things. That's exactly it. And my patience for these folks, it's run out. You know, it's it's very, very demoralizing to think that we can't even overcome a pandemic. Something as simple as wearing masks is still controversial in 2021. You know, in other countries, it's not an issue at all. Other countries aren't worried about the vaccine. In fact, folks in India are desperate, begging for vaccines. Because as you can see, they're creating open-air crematoriums because they don't have any place to store all of the bodies that are piling up due to this highly contagious deadly disease but we have people in america who consume so much misinformation that they begin working against their own self-interest and in turn they pose a danger to the rest of society because they're working <laughs> against society as a whole who is trying to get this virus under control so i mean look I don't find these viral videos funny any longer. I used to laugh at them and think, wow, look at these idiots. I mean, look at this jackass. He cut a hole in his mask. What a, what a buffoon. I don't find it funny anymore. We're almost in uh, the middle of 2021. I want to move on. I don't want there to be a pandemic any longer. I want to move on. I want things to open up again. I want to be able to go to a movie theater. I want to be able to go to a restaurant and not worry about uh, catching COVID-19 or spreading it to someone else. I mean, doesn't everyone else just feel fatigue? Don't they want to move on? Don't they want things to get back to normal? Well, they do. It's just that they don't want to take all of the necessary steps that will enable us to live life as we did before the pandemic. So, um, yeah, you could thank Tucker Carlson for the uh, sudden influx in anti-mask rhetoric. And we also have to, him to thank for spreading anti-vax misinformation because he is uh, working overtime to try to convince people to not take the vaccine. And that is absolutely not only dangerous, but it's deadly. People are going to die if they listen to this idiot.